I don't think you could have scripted a more perfect day and a more perfect setting than what we have today to celebrate this great day, great venue. On behalf of James and Natasha, I want to thank each one of you for attending this celebration. I think you are participating in one of the happiest moments of their lives. For James and Natasha, your presence here today as friends and family and honored guests not only heightens the beauty of the day for them, but I believe it totally completes the day for them. Well, we are gathered here today to witness the coming together of two people. Two people whose hearts, spirits, minds really are already entwined as one. And I think those of you who know this couple best can attest to the love that they have for one another and to the blended hopes and dreams and goals that the two of them share. And when such a bond exists of that magnitude, it's only appropriate that we have an open public demonstration of that love and that is what this wedding ceremony is all about. So it is now that James and Natasha will profess before God, before their family, and before their friends of their desire to, from here on out, walk the road of life together. I think family is such an integral part of any wedding, and today is no exception. And before we go any further, I want to take a moment to recognize and acknowledge family. First of all, to you, Natasha has asked me to publicly express her love and appreciation to you, Juliet and Nicholas, for the love and the guidance that you have given her. It is through you that she has learned the meanings of the word love and honor and respect. And it is those gifts that you have bestowed upon her that she now comes to share and exchange with James. And it is a tribute to you that she now stands here before us because it is not just their love for one another that's brought them to this point, but it is your love for her and an influence in her life. And for that, she wanted to say thank you, and I wanted to say thank you. And additionally, I want to take a moment, remember your mother, James. I know Mary would have loved to have celebrated this day with you all today, but sometimes life doesn't play out in the way that we think it will. And as the two of you share this very special day together, I hope you can rest in the peace to know that every bit of this day, she would have loved being here to share with you. I think the two greatest words that come about in any marriage are love and commitment. So let me talk about love for just a second. We hear love talked about everywhere we go. It's in our mu music, it's in our movies, it's in our social media, it's everywhere. You can't hide from the term love, but a lot of times the love that gets referenced there is not really the way we think about love. What do we mean when we talk about love in a marriage? It's seeing the things that other people don't get an opportunity to see. It's getting a chance to see beneath the surface in your mate to the qualities that make them special and unique. And to see with loving eyes means to really know inner beauty about the other person. And to be loved is to be seen and known as we are known to nobody else but our mate. One who loves us gives us a really unique gift, which is a part of ourselves, but a part that only they could give us. I think love is a lot like what the Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians 13, which is often referred to as the love chapter, when he said, love is patient, love is kind, it doesn't envy, it doesn't boast, it is not proud, love is not rude, it's not self-seeking, love doesn't get easily angered, it doesn't keep a record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but it rejoices with the truth. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails.
At this time, James and Natasha will assemble a unity cross that we have before us, which is a sculpture that they're going to display in their home to remind them of the covenant that they are making today. The covenant that you all make today in a marriage is really a three-part covenant. It's James, it's Natasha, and it's our Lord Jesus Christ. Through that covenant, from this moment forward, you will both be together on your journey through life, and you'll never be alone. The two of you have pledged your vows, you have consented to wed one another, and you have consecrated this celebration with the giving and the accepting of rings by virtue of the authority put in me under the laws of our beautiful state of Florida. I have the privilege to pronounce you are indeed husband and wife. We have done every legal thing that we need to do to make sure that the two of you are married. Now we get to have some fun. James, you may kiss your beautiful bride.
They say love like this comes once in a lifetime. For the first time, I believe it to be true. All of my friends say. Sets me free.